In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at how to do some simple keyframing with your lighting effect. Oftentimes you'll find, especially if you're working with a video clip, that you might want a certain lighting effect on your video, but if, if the camera moves or the subject moves, you need to make some adjustments, and you can do that with a keyframe. We'll give you some simple steps in doing that in this exercise. So I have this clip of this gal on the couch, and you see she's not moving, but the camera is. It's rotating uh, from left to right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use a lighting effect, but we're going to keyframe it. So uh, with that clip highlighted, I simply go to my action bar on the right side. I click on the FX, and I'm going to take the lighting effects under the advanced adjustments and drag and drop it down to that particular track. And we'll use the default. Default here is this light. It's a spotlight. Everything else has been dimmed. The ambience has been knocked down from 50% to 20%. And let's use this light, but we're going to keyframe it. So the first thing I want to do is it's light number one. That's the default. That's the spotlight. I'm going to change the angle of it. I'm going to make it come down a little bit more from the right there. And let's say we want it to fall the left part on the back of her head and uh, kind of stop here over where her knee is. But if we go this way through the entire production, it's not quite where I want to start. Let me show you a little bit about how to keyframe this. I'm going to take this, well, let's narrow it a little bit too. Let's take the minor radius. That's kind of the width and we'll narrow it down. So what we're going to do is click on the clock on, by the applied effects at the top, the stopwatch, and that opens my keyframes. Now a keyframe basically uh, records the uh, characteristics of an element at a certain point in time. So we'll move our uh, current time indicator all the way to the left and we'll decide where we want this. I'm going to keyframe only the location here. I could keyframe all of these variables, but right now we're just going to do with the location. And I'm going to move it just back a little bit to the left, take the horizontal and drag the mouse back a little bit. Maybe that's where I want it in that particular place. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the key for the, the playhead forward. And I think I want a little bit more of her hair here. So we're going to slide this a little bit more to the left. And we'll keep moving the current time indicator. And I'll move this a little bit more there. All right, and we'll move it some more. It's not moving very much in this particular section. We'll just move it back just a little bit. I could also move it up and down if I wanted to change it even more. Move it over here toward the end and just nudge it a little bit more to the left here. Okay. And now we're, what we're going to do is we'll uh, go ahead and close this and go back to the beginning of the clip. And now we'll, we will uh, pause and render. That. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, we see the cameras moving, but the light is pretty much about where we want it in this example. I deliberately didn't use one where we had a lot of motion because that would just take more time to show you the same principle. But whether it's moving fast or slow, keyframing is pretty simple to do. Now what I'd like to do is let it go ahead and move to my second example. Now this is a still example here. Here we have a promotion for uh, Mercedes-Benz. and there's nothing much exciting about it because it's just a still picture. But what if we wanted to put some spotlights on this and kind of highlight the car? Let me show you how to do that. We're going to click again on our effects on the action bar on the right. Take the lighting effect, drag and drop it down to the clip. I'm going to close the uh, effect window for now. Let's turn off the uh, keyframing. And we'll drag this over so we can see more of what we're doing. The default again is a spotlight that happens to show up here. Let's assume we want to change it so the spotlight actually moves across the car. 
So we'll go back to our keyframe uh, properties. We'll hit the little uh, stopwatch or timer up in the very top. And we'll be on light number one. And let's say we'll, we'll leave it the same color. We'll turn the, the location as my variable here. And what I'm going to do, move my current time indicator to the beginning. And then we'll move this horizontally so the light starts on the left. Okay, let's make it a little more intense though. Just increase it a little bit. We don't want to wash it out too much. And then we're going to go ahead and move to the next location that I had here. That looks pretty good. And then we'll move it over to the end. Not quite that far. Over here. And I think I want it there toward the back of the car. Let's make it off the car. Okay, and now we have that. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And let's go back and play this very briefly. And if we look at it, we have the light moving across the car. Now it's a little jagged because I didn't do it exactly the way I wanted, but uh, it gives you an illustration of how to do it. Now let's try this a little in a little more complicated way. I'm going to take the same clip, go back to my effects, and um, go to my edit effects. Now we're going to go and let's, in this case, I'm going to move to this keyframe here because this is one that wasn't helpful. And I'm going to remove that one. So it just goes from left to right in a more smooth flow. Okay. Now we'll start at the beginning and this time we're going to take light two, turn it to another spotlight, and then we're going to control the location of that. But what we'll do when we start at the beginning is we're going to start and go the opposite direction. It will start, I'll take my horizontal, I'm going to drag it farther to the right here. It will start on the back end of the car, right there. And then when we move our current time indicator to the end of the clip, we're going to take this light and we're going to move it back. Move my horizontal indicator over to the front corner, the front left corner of the vehicle. Put that one in the spotlight. So what we should have is two lights that kind of crisscross. So we'll go ahead and close that. We'll go back to our particular uh, beginning of our clip and we'll play it here. And now we have two lights going in the opposite direction. Now there's more that we should could do there related to shadows and, and other things related to this. But you've got five lights to work with. So if you wanted to take a still image and uh, really uh, make it exciting. You could do all kinds of things. We could change the color of the lights um, as well as the motion. But this is a simple way of beginning to look at some of the possibilities you have when you try to keyframe the controls in the lighting effect in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018.